This is a problem from the textbook Anthony Esposito, 7th edition, uh, from chapter 9. Uh, this is an example of unloading and pressure relief valve setting. In this example, there is a, a sheet metal operation um, done by this cylinder. So, if you are interested in the simulation, you can see the automation simulation in the OpenEducator.com. However, in this uh, video, I will only show you how to um, how to set up these uh, unloading valves pressure setting and this pressure relief valve pressure setting so the way these two pumps work um, this valve is pump is high flow pump and this one is high pressure but low flow high pressure pump the reason why two of these pumps are used so when this cylinder is extending, uh, going for assume that I have the sheet metal here, and then this is the uh, um, the punch, and then this going going very fast there, try to punch this uh, sheet metal. So when is when this uh, punch is traveling or drill is traveling this way, then you need very high speed. So to get high speed, you need very high flow. We know that Q equal to velocity times A. To get high velocity, we need very high flow. So this pump is used to make that punch moving towards the sheet metal right here. And then when it touches the sheet metal, we need very high force. Now high force, that comes from high pressure. So then we need some high pressure. So this is this high pressure pump basically maintains the very high pre pressure in this side and that makes very high force. It doesn't create much flow because when this um, the punch is on the on the sheet metal uh, touches the sheet metal then you don't need any movement so don't don't need much flow. So what happened this unloading valve that unload all the flow so this this pump doesn't really develop much pressure so this is a low pressure high flow pump so it it basically dumps all the flow this way to the reservoir when this cylinder is not moving so the cylinder is fully extended and then this uh, punch is uh, reaches to that sheet metal right here. Let's say this is the sheet we want to make the punch. So it reaches there and then this high pressure pump hold the pressure here, hold the high force which is about 800 Newton to make this um, uh, punch and do the punching operation. So the question is asking that how much do you have to set for this unloading uh, valve pressure and set the uh, pressure for this pressure safety valve. Now, when this cylinder is moving very fast, then you have a lot of fluid going this way, going this way, going this way. So there's a lot of fluid movement, a lot of fluid friction when this punch is traveling to this sheet metal, when the cylinder is extending. So a lot of fluid motion on the blank side also on the rod end side. So there is a loss. In blank side you have about seven, uh, 670 kilopascal and the rod end you have that 350 kilopascal loss. Now when the cylinder is fully extended touching that sheet metal for punching then it's not moving anymore. So when it's not moving then there is no fluid frictional loss. So there is no loss when he's doing the punching operation. However, when the cylinder is moving, there are lots of fluid friction going on. So let me calculate those. So if I look at the cylinder here, let's say at fully extended position right there. Now I have the back, uh, back pressure on this line. I'm just going to do very simplified uh, motion. So the fluid right here, sorry, not that. So that's the sheet metal. It's making the pass. This is the reservoir. So on this line, on the flow going this way, you have 350 kilopascal loss. And on the blank side, we have 675 kilopascal 
loss because there is no direct relationship direct connection between blank and the um, the rod in we have to find the equivalent force because of this back pressure so how much back back force is coming so to calculate the back force because of that 350 kilopascal back pressure we can simply do 350 kilopascal times the rod area they can see the diameter of the rod is given point uh, 3.75 centimeter which is 0 0.0375 a square minus the rod um, diameter 0 0.01 to 5 meter whole square it's not inches it's in meter I have calculated that back force 344 Newton now this back force 344 Newton is pressurizing on this side so on the piston so this is the solid piston with the rod so applying this 344 newton force so the pressure equivalent to that would be force times divided by area rod area pi by 4 0 0.0375 meter whole square so the pressure i have calculated was 311 kilopascal so because of this back pressure 350 we have translated equivalent pressure here is 311 kilopascal so the total pressure on this side total pressure is 375 blanken sorry 675 blanken pressure plus the converted uh, rod and pressure 311 which is um, total 986.1 kilopascal so for the unloading valve if we just overcome this uh, pressure for the back pressure and the blank and loss that should be enough however he says that to run the operation smoothly we have to set uh, the unloading valve pressure a little bit higher he says that set both of them 50 percent higher so 50 percent higher of this would be so the unloading valve setting unloading pressure uh, setting unloading valve pressure setting would be 50 percent of that so 986.1 kilopascal times 50 percent which is 1.5 50 percent more so 150 by 50 100 so i got that one for 1479 kilopascal that's the unloading valve pressure setting. Now, when the uh, for the pressure safety valve, which is so pressure safety valve is placed on this high pressure line. So this should be set to overcome that 8,000 newton. So the things doesn't get activated before it kind of reach that high force 8,000. We have to find out the equivalent pressure for this 8,000 newton. So if we have 8,000 newton on the blank end of the rod, so the pressure would be then basically 8,000 newton divided by the blank end area, which is pi by 4, 0.0375 meter per square. I have calculated that 724.33 kilopascal. Now we'll have to say that 150% more. So um, we can say, I don't know, why should I write? So the pressure relief valve setting would be basically 50% more of that, which is 1.5 times 7 to 4.33. I have got that 10,865 kilopascal. That would be the pressure setting for the pressure relief valve. So just to see, visualize here, this valve should be set at 1480 kilopascal and this pressure relief valve should be set at 10865 kilopascal.